It's, it's a relative term, especially when you consider a person's age. Something that's old to you may not be old to me because I've got a lot of more years <laughs> under my belt. But uh, yeah, the, the length of history is relative to your own experience, I think. My name is Deanna Beinecke, and I am the director here at the Fort Thomas Military and Community History Museum and have been so for the past six years. We are housed in a building that was built in 1910. A little bit of background. In 1867, the Commonwealth of Kentucky created a legislative district called the District of the Highlands. In 1887, after back-to-back -back floods, the Newport Barracks was flooded twice, and the um, Department of the Army was looking for a place to relocate the military presence for Northern Kentucky. The District of the Highlands was almost completely agricultural. There were a few residences where people lived in the district, but worked in the city as retail grocers or as clerks in Cincinnati, Covington, or Newport. Before it was active, uh, when active in 1895, even though it had been under construction since 1889, you know, um, you've been to Scotland, you've been to England, those buildings are much older than the buildings here in this country. Um, the oldest building in this city is a house that was built in 1830 down right across from St. Catherine Church. Um, probably some of the oldest buildings that I've seen in this country are in Virginia and Massachusetts. But old also means that it might just be something that's old to us. Yeah, it's, I really think it's such an interesting concept of what people think when they think old. Because, yeah, so my flat, the flat I live in, I'm staying in right now, was built in 1829. And it's like, it's kind of old, but like I say, it's nothing compared to like the castle. <laughs> So my name is Sally Chalmers. I am the learning officer at Edinburgh Castle, which basically means I run the castle's learning programs. So that's working with all ages from like nursery school kids all the way up to adult learners and um, to kind of engage them with the castle using a variety of different methods like workshops, like trails, um, like physical resources, like handling boxes um, and like project longer term projects. Um, to uh, give a brief summary of Edinburgh Castle's history is quite difficult um, and also it's quite difficult to say when it was built. Um, so the oldest building still standing is about 900 years old so it was built in the 1100s. It's a really small church called St Margaret's Chapel um, and it's the only structure that remains standing from that time but we have records of the site being occupied and there being a castle or fortress on there since the Bronze Age so that's like since I'm just going to find the exact, so between 3,000 and 5,000 years ago. Um, so we've got evidence of like ditches they dug and walls. And then we also have physical evidence of things they left behind, like combs and brooches. Um, so the site's been occupied for 3,000 to 5,000 years. Um, but the oldest building you can still go and physically see is 900 years old. So like anything kind of a couple of hundred years old, I would consider to be old. Historic, on the other hand, I think means something, that something significant happened there or it has some sort of significance. Um, so I would say my flat, even though it's 200 years old, isn't historic because nothing interesting has ever happened here. Um, whereas obviously Enver Castle, very historic, very historically significant. Um, and it also is like, uh, so Historic Environment Scotland, the organization I work for, one of our jobs is listing buildings. So like saying a building's really old, uh, really important and needs to be protected. Um, and we recently visited the building. Um, they're known locally as the Banana Flats. Uh, it was built in the 1960s, and I think it caused a bit of a furore as people being like, the 1960s, that's not really old, but 
it's more that it's historic in that it's a really significant example of brutalist architecture. So we think it's an important building to preserve so that in 200 years, when people look back, they can kind of see examples of it. So I think there's a little bit of a difference between historic and old there.